Hello, I'm Ron Miscavige, and this is another episode of Home Workouts for Veterans or Anybody. And this is number three in a series. I've done two so far. The first one was to introduce you to the musculature of the body, how it works, give you some basic moves. The four, four basic moves I gave on that one. Number two, I showed you a complete workout. Complete workout number one, because I'm going to be doing more videos so I'm going to give you more workouts. Now on this video, I'm going to introduce you to a different way to use your ISO trainer. As a matter of fact, it's called isometronics. I actually made up that word because it's a combination of isometrics and isotonics. Okay? you got to be demonstrated. That's why I'm going to show you this. And I'll show you some basic moves and then I'll show you a complete workout. Now, one thing about this method of exercising is that it is very intense. So when you start doing this, let's start out with just maybe four repetitions at a comfortable amount of pressure put on. And then as you learn it, to, then you can go full out once you learn how to do these. And there's one, I wouldn't say it's a downside, but there is a learning curve to this because it's not normal to do what I'm going to ask you to do. We will do an isometric contraction first. And the whole idea of doing an isometric for about seven seconds is to fire up as many muscle fibers as possible. And then without giving up on the tension or alleviating it at all, we'll go through some isotonic or movement while that tension is kept constant throughout the whole thing. So I get that now. We use an isometric contraction to fire up the fibers. And if you want to learn how this works, go, go, to, go to video number one. But anyway, we're using an isometric contraction to fire up the fibers. And then don't let up on the tension. We'll go through a range of motion for four repetitions. Once you learn this, you can do, you know, six, eight, 10, or even 12. I would do 10 which is what I would do in a workout normally, but I get out of breath, so it's gonna take longer for the video, so I'm just gonna show you with four repetitions. Now, a couple things you gotta remember. As a matter of fact, there's probably three. Number one, this is very intense. Well, it's as intense as you make it. So use it on a gradient. Don't go full out at first. Learn how to do this by keeping your attention on the move and keeping the, atten the tension of the isometric throughout the whole move that, we sh that I show you. Number two, do not hold your breath. Now that goes through for any exercise, but the more intense it gets, the more critical it is that you do breathing while you're doing it. As a matter of fact, if you could take deep breaths while you're doing it, that would be the best thing, okay? And then do it on a gradient. Do it so you're, it's tolerable to you. That's the method. now. Let's get going on this and I'll show you. First of all, if you notice, I start with the ISO trainer pulled all together. And the reason for it is that once I start lengthening that center strap, that gives me a nice base to base the exercises on. So now we got this lengthened out and I'm gonna stand on it and I'm gonna get my feet about like that. Okay, back straight. Now this is a leg press. This is the first one. So I'll do the isometric contraction first and you'll see what I'll do then. So here we go. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See that? One, two, three, four and start it there again. Okay, that is what I call a uh, leg sway. And basically what you're doing is you're firing up your leg muscles with that seven second contraction. And then by keeping the tension up and doing like a quarter of a squat, you're exercising your legs. Now the further apart you have your legs, the lower you can get. But to start off with, do whatever you can be comfortable with. Okay, so now I've built up a little oxygen dead already. That's all right. 
As they say, this is intense. Here we go. Now this is a move you know of from the first routine, which I showed the four basics. And this is called an upright rowing motion. So you get your hands in front of you. Now watch how this goes. Well, actually I should get it just a little bit lower and you'll see why. Now, this upright row, that's the move. Watch how this goes. Okay, start the isometric. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, and another pull. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now the next move we're gonna do, which is a new move, which I, I don't know if I've shown you this, maybe in a basic workout I did, is a curl. And you all know how that goes. In other words, that's this move. Now you'll see what we do. And you know, as you notice, we're gonna bring the legs into play on a lot of these moves, which has an added advantage if you're getting more blood circulating because you'll build up a little oxygen debt, okay? So here we go. This is the curl. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't let up on the tension. One, two, three, four. There you go. You with me so far? As you can see, I'm getting out of breath. It, it is, it is only four repetitions. And because I'm counting out loud, I can't show you how much I'm breathing. But if I'm not counting, I'm, you know, deep breaths. So now we set up for the next one, which you'll show, see. So you bring this strap down just outside your foot. See that? Just outside your foot. Okay, let me bring it up in back you. Make it just a little bit longer. Whoop. Okay, and this is called a bench press. You see what I'm going to do here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Okay, end of the move. You got it? Okay, so now. We're going to pull this in all the way and we're going to do something for your your upper back muscles. As you can see, I'm shortening this down and you'll see why. Here's the move is going to go like that. So here we go. This is for your upper back muscles. Pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. That's for your upper back, your back of your deltoid, the trapezius muscle up here. You're with me so far. Stay with me. And remember now, you got to learn how to stay focused and keep that tension up throughout the entire move. So we're going to go over to the door and you can stay out there. And we put this over the top of the door with that short, short amount of space between the handles. And what we're going to do is called 
a chin move. Now, I don't want you to actually pull yourself up to chin yourself if you can, but just go pull as hard as you can so you're on your tiptoes, like that. <clears throat> so here we go. Chin move. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, buddy. It's that way if you're not going to do <laughs> the isometronic method. So here we go. So it's up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And keep the tension up. One. Two. Three. Four. All right. That's the chin move. And get it down to about here. And now we're going to do an exercise for the abs, which is called a forward bend. So we put tension on, and you'll see what I'm going to do. So here we go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more here. <laughs> when you do it, you'll see why I'm breathing heavy. It's pretty intense, and if you can get yourself nailed as to how these, how to do these in four repetitions, bump it up to six, see how you feel. And then do eight, and if you can eventually get to ten, that would be great. So now this is for your triceps, and it's a tricep press down. So here, I'm gonna press down on the handles. Here we go, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Okay, now one more and we'll be done this workout. And this, I'm gonna stand in a doorway here. So you back up over there. We don't use the apparatus. Lean in the doorway. Now go up on your toes. Flex it as hard as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one. Two, three, four, and that's the workout. Now, if you're going to add any moves to that, what I would recommend you adding is one of these. All right. The leg sway simply because your legs are the thing that go quicker than anything the older you get <laughs> well I took a workout with you now that's what I call the isometronic method of working out seven second isometric contraction to fire the muscle fibers up while they're firing up without relaxing and keeping the same tension on go through a range of motion partial in some cases full that's my message for today I hope you get one of these because if you don't you're missing out on probably the best buy that you could have in the area of physical exercise as a matter of fact truthfully I don't know of any machine whether it's cables or weights that you could do what I just showed you yeah here it is the simplest possible way to work out the icer trainer dirt cheap like at twenty six dollars and seventy four cents I think and all you have to do to order it is go to worldfit.com look up iso trainer select that and then put in Ron 10 and you'll even get 10 percent off that and free shipping so your net cost if you have to pay tax it's more 
your net cost is going to be under $24. That's the ISO trainer. That's the isometronic method of working out, which is a word I made up. Basically, it's moving isometrics. I hope you get one. And remember, if you get one, you're going to feel better. You're going to look better and you're going to be healthier. And the fourth one, which I really should mention because it does mean something, you're going to get stronger. Okay, that's my message for today. Tune in because I'm going to do more videos. I have another one coming up, which I'm sure you're going to be happy to see. Four ISO trainer and home workouts for veterans or anybody. And by the way, including women, because I'm going to have my wife come on and show you a workout that I designed for women. Anyway, for all of this stuff, and if you want to see what else I do, go to my website, therealronmiscavige.com. I am Ron Miscavige. I am your home workout trainer, and I will see you on the next video. So long for now.